Hey fam, welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna be unboxing my BoxyCharm base and premium for the month of August 2020. Y'all, this month, this month, BoxyCharm was lit. So if y'all are as excited as I am to see the products inside of these boxes, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. So the boxy charms I got last month were a little on the disappointing side. My base was pretty good. I'll give it to the base. The base was pretty good. Wow. But my premium was a little bit... Uh... The premium was a little whack. I'll be honest, it was a little whack. But this month, my premium was so good, I'm like, my base is probably gonna be terrible then. Girl, then I got my base, and my base was popping. It has been so long since I've been this thrilled about both boxes. It's been a while. So enough of my jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and get into the base box. So this is our little base box. It's a little bit smaller than the premium. And I even got a card in both of my boxes. The theme this month is Boxy Charm Glamping. Have y'all ever gone glamping? I have wanted to go glamping. I think it looks like so much fun. I think there was a place I was looking at a couple years back in upstate New York where they had these like giant tents and they were like on like a wood, like a wood platform type situation. They had like a big old bed and like a fireplace and stuff. They looked so sexy, like all these string lights. I was like, yes, <laughs> sign me up. So one of these days, maybe I'll go glamping, but that is our theme this month, BoxyCharm glamping. And we'll go over the prices at the end. So the first product I thought was kind of interesting. This is the Mud Masky Specialized Series blue light protection mask. It says it helps shield harmful, high energy, visible HEV blue light from laptop, tablet, smartphones, television, LED lights, and computer screens. And I was reading the instructions earlier and it said basically to like put this on and wear it all day, which seems a little weird. So I don't really know a whole lot about this whole blue light thing. There's now blue light glasses. I know Milani came out with that like blue light protection foundation. I definitely need to do more research into the effects of blue light on the skin. anything like this product so I mean I'm definitely grateful to get it the next option was my choice item this was the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now, I do currently own this product. I own it in the shade Swan, but I think this concealer is a touch too light for me. So I was very curious to see which color BoxyCharm would send. And they sent the shade Pearl. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's a little bit darker than the one I currently have. So I was super excited. This is actually a product from Too Faced, y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know that I am not the biggest Too Faced fan, but this is one product from Too Faced that I absolutely love. So I was so thrilled that this was an option this month. I was like, yes, yes, please. Y'all know me with foundation and concealer. I love them all. I want them all. They're like Pokemon. I want to collect them all. You okay? I'm not okay. I'm not. I want to catch them all. Not some of them. I want to catch them all. And it's so silly because they expire probably the fastest, but. I love this concealer. I was so thrilled to get another shade of it. I'm happy to be able to mix these two. This will also be really nice for summertime when my skin gets a little bit more tan. And the other shade will be better for winter. So I was so, so, so thrilled with this product. The next product I was super thrilled about as well. This is the Clarins Paris 01 Velvet Lip Perfector. Clarins is actually a skincare brand that the estheticians at Hand in Stone, where I go for facials, though I haven't been in several months, because of all of, this, all of the adventures we have going on in 2020. Oh, shit. Oh, God, Jesus, 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 Lord, Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ. This is the skincare brand that they use on my skin. It is the one they prefer. They have Dermalogica there and Clarins, and the estheticians I've worked with have always recommended Clarins for my skin. So I was so, so excited when I saw this in the spoilers, and I was like, I really hope I get that Clarins Lip Perfector. Y'all know I struggle with fine lines in my lips. 
girl, girl, this lip struggle is real. I feel like I got cactuses and, and tumbleweeds going across my lips are so dry. So I am so thrilled to get this product. It is a beautiful nude shade. This looks so right up my alley. It's got a little powder puff applicator and it says that it has a velvety matte color. It has hold, so it's got lasting power. It's got a blur effect, which is supposed to smooth your lips. It's ultra light, creamy, and extremely comfortable. So that sounds like literally every lip concern I have, and I cannot wait to try this product. I am so thrilled to get this in my box this month. So my second to last product in the BoxyCharm box is this product here by Elizabeth Mott. And this is called Thank Me Later. This is an eyeshadow primer and I was hoping for this. I have been like obsessing over eyeshadow primers. Don't ask me why. I really don't know. I used to just use foundation or concealer on my lids. And then when I started watching Robert Welsh and he was talking about the importance of eye primer, how concealer isn't intended for eyeshadow, it's intended for your under eyes and, and blemishes around your skin and that eyeshadow primer is formulated specifically for use with eyeshadow. I've been really trying to religiously use eyeshadow primer on my lids. I do have my one by The Bomb. Priming is everything that I've been working on for, geez, almost a year now and it's almost gone. So I have a couple more primers to try and when I saw that they had an eyeshadow primer in the box this month, I'm like, I really hope I get that variation. And here it was, I was so excited. And the packaging is really cute too with like the little eyeballs on it. And the fact that she says, thank me later. I mean, Elizabeth Mott must have some confidence in her product. So it's got a cute little kind of millennial pink tube. It is 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. I know I will get my use out of this because I use eyeshadow primer every time I do my eyeshadow and we will be trying this out today. And then the last product in the box, I like literally squealed when I opened my box. I was so excited. And that is the Butter London Teddy Palette. Another option this month that I saw was the Violet Voss Essentials 2 Palette. I know a ton of people love the Essentials 1 Palette. And I did try that when I unboxed it for my BoxyCharm. And then it sat in my drawer ever after. I literally never reached for it again. And it's not that Violet Voss does not have a beautiful formula. She absolutely does. But the color story in the Essentials One palette just really didn't inspire me at all. I, I never reached for it. And I actually recently decluttered it. So when I saw the Essentials Two was an option this month, I was kind of bummed. I was like, I really hope I don't get that. Her eyeshadow quality is fabulous. And so many people love the Essential One, wanted the Essential One. I just, didn't really vibe with it. It didn't do anything for me. When I saw the Essentials 2, I'm like, if I get that palette, I, I just know myself, I'm not gonna reach for it. And the other option was this one, and it's a cool tone palette, which is so up my alley. I have been obsessed with cool tones for the better part of like a year now. Oh my goodness, this looked absolutely gorgeous. We have the little color story here on the back. And I really don't have a lot of cool tones in my collection. Comes in this cute little blue packaging. This reminds me a lot of our Tarte face palette that we received in a, a BoxyCharm Maybe still in 2019. I don't think it was this year. I think it was last year. But this is a beautiful little palette full of gorgeous like grays and taupes and even like a chocolatey brown here at the bottom. These colors are so beautiful. This is a great travel palette when any of us can travel again. Hopefully 2021. I'm like, please, please 2021. Can we please travel? So I was so thrilled to get this. I was so relieved to get the palette that I knew I would get some use out of instead of the one that I knew I would probably either put in a giveaway right away or just pass along to family or friends because I just knew I wouldn't get my use out of it. I knew that color story didn't really move me. This one was the one that was right up my alley and I was so grateful. I can't believe that my box was so in line with my preferences this month. I was just thrilled. Okay, so let's go over our prices. So the first product we have is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. This retails for $29. Our Butter London Teddy Boy Eyeshadow Palette retails for $28. Our Clarins Velvet Lip Perfector retails for $26. Our Mud Masky Blue Light Protection Mask, geez louise, retails for $54. And our Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eye Primer retails for $20. Giving us a total of all right, y'all, so let's hop on into premium. So we have our premium box for August, and we got a little card in this box too, so helpful. So we will start with my choice item for this month, which was the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I'm so excited. This is another product that I already have, but I still have not used this yet. 
The reason being is that this is so expensive and it's supposed to be fabulous and I have been so scared of using this up that I've been reaching for other primers. And now I have a backup, so I'm so excited to tap into this one. We will be trying it out today, finally. Finally! The next item I was super excited about too, I didn't even know this was an option, and this is like the fun thing about a BoxyCharm, is even if you see the spoilers, girl, sometimes there's some products in there that you had no idea were even an option. And one is this little Fenty Travel Contour Brush. I was so excited. I don't have any brushes from Fenty. It comes in this beautiful iridescent case. I know on the camera it just looks kind of white, but in the light you can kind of see a little bit of iridescence, a little teeny bit of like a shimmer to this. It's really pretty. And it is like a fun little travel brush. Oh, I guess you push this down and you have your little brush. I thought this was so freaking cute. And I don't have any brushes by Fenty. So this was such an exciting little surprise in my premium box. And then this is another product I didn't even know was an option. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And this is also a product that I have, but I do like this product. I have some setting powders that I do like better than this one, but it's not a bad one. And I'm happy to have a backup. Next, I was so excited to see this little product from MAC. This is one of their satin lipsticks and it's in the shade Mocha. So it comes in this adorable little bullet. And it's just like gorgeous, spicy shade. It's so pretty. This is right up my alley. I wear shades like this, especially in the fall. And I like that this is kind of fall themed. I'm not ready for fall. It is still August. It is like mid-August. We still have most of the month of September for summertime. <laughs> I'm in no rush for pumpkins, y'all. I am such a summer fiend but I know I will get a lot of use out of this lipstick. This is a color I would absolutely reach for, wear, use, love it. I love Max Formula. And then this was another product I didn't even know was an option. I had seen the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel thing, which I was kind of hoping for, but I didn't even know that the eyeliners were an option and I was so thrilled when I saw Milk in my box. I was like, yes, this is in the shade Bonus. And it looks to be kind of like a, kind of like a metallic copper color which is right up my alley. That will look so beautiful in the waterline. And it's a long wear gel eyeliner. So I think their packaging is very cute. It's very like clean, sleek, modern. Oh, so it's got a little smudgy side, which is pretty cool, like a little foam tip there. And then this side, ooh, you get like a pretty thick gel liner. I like that this is retractable. And it's a really pretty like brownie bronze shade. Gorgeous. I will get use out of this for sure. And I am so sorry. Look at me sleeping on the job. Let me swatch this lipstick for you too. That is our lipstick shade. Just beautiful. And that'll go, I think, really well with my skin tone as well. And then the last item in my premium box, I believe it was supposed to be in everyone's premium box this month. And it is the Ciate London, the editor palette. And this is New England. This palette is so pretty. I was just like, girl, girl, this one boxy was just popping off. So we have this really pretty packaging. It's got like, like palm fronds, I believe there on the front. It kind of honestly low key reminds me a little bit of Makeup Revolution packaging. I don't have a lot of Makeup Revolution stuff. It is like weighted, it feels good. But for some reason, I, I don't know why it just kind of gives me that little bit of a vibe. I wonder if they get their um, components from the same place, but inside, is this absolutely stunning color story. From what I can see, there are several different formulas in this palette. Some of them appear to be satins. This one right here almost looks like a matte, but it has like a sheen. So maybe like this is a satin. These might be like shimmers. And then these ones look to be like chunkier, like a more of like a metallic shimmer or something. So maybe like shimmers, metallics, satins, mattes. I don't know, but this color story is beautiful. And I happen to love palettes with multiple formulas. I think it's so exciting. It's like a little box of treasures. And this color story is gorge. It's so pretty. It's so colorful, but it's like, it's like approachable colors, but they're not boring. It's not like everything's super muted. They're not like super bright, vibrant, but they're not like super dusty looking either. I think this color story is absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited for this. Both eyeshadow palettes were right up my alley this month, which like almost never happens. Sometimes I'll get something I'm excited about, other times I'm like, mm. but this month knocked it out of the park. All right, y'all, so let's go over some prices. 
Our first product is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This retails for a whopping $38. The Ciate London New England Editor Palette retails for $32. The Too Faced Born This Way Setting Powder retails for $33. The MAC Cosmetics Satin Lipstick retails for $19. The Milk Makeup Longwear Eye Gel retails for $22. And our Fenty Beauty Portable Contour and Concealer Brush 150 retails for $24. Giving us a whopping total of, look back at it, all right, y'all, so let's zoom on in and start putting on some of these products. All right, y'all, so our makeup today is giving me all the feels. Let's go ahead and start with the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Ooh. It's like a peachy shade and it smells so good. I kind of expected it to have like a totally citrusy smell. Like I have a product from Peter Thomas Roth that straight up smells like orange rind and I can't stand it. I love oranges, but like I'll put that on my face. It's a product I picked up at TJ Maxx like last year. And oh my gosh, I had to wash it off the last time I tried to use it because it was just noxious. This smells like a creamsicle, like an orange creamsicle. It smells so good. And let's see what this drawn is supposed to do. It says it can be worn alone, under makeup, or dabbed on top of makeup as a highlight. So I guess it's supposed to, well, it's obviously supposed to brighten. Da joy. <laughs> Banana bright face primer. It says for external use only, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I think it's just supposed to kind of brighten the skin. So we got that part down. And then the next product we are going to use is this Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. Ooh. It's kind of got like a silicone-y feel, kind of like a pinky shade. So I'm going to put this on my brush, kind of smooth this over my eyelid. Now this does not have quite the kind of opaque base that my the Balm Primer has, but it does have a nice base. I do think it's kind of like, you can see between my two eyes. I think this one did kind of even out my skin and it feels pretty good. And it doesn't feel like too tacky, which is good. It's very comfortable. Okay, so next to go into eyes, as much as I'm in love with both palettes, this Ciate one is just really calling my name. And I think I want to do something with these kind of peachy ready shades. I think that looks really beautiful. And I think it'll look really pretty with that MAC Bullet lipstick and the gel eyeliner from Milk Makeup. So starting with my little packing brush, I am gonna tap into the shade right here. They don't have names, but I'm just gonna start with this peachy matte. And I'm just gonna start packing this in the crease. And these shades are super pigmented, which is a relief. And they seem to be applying very well over this eye base. So did y'all get your boxies yet this month? I was so surprised. I got my alert for premium and I was like, woohoo, premium's coming. And then the next day I got my alert for base and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, so they're gonna come a day apart because I always try to film these together. And then they both got here today. <laughs> I was like, okay, here we go, we're filming. What products were y'all hoping for this month? And did you get the products that you were hoping for? What were your choice items? Did y'all shop pop-up? I did, I spent about $100 on pop-up I think this month, which honestly wasn't as bad as some other months. They had some really good products this month. The one I was the most excited about, I think, if I can remember correctly, <laughs> was the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes. I only have one, I have Stiletto, which I foolish, not foolishly, I guess, but because I really wanted it. I got it for full price from Sephora. No sale, no coupon, nothing. I just bought it outright because I really wanted it. And then I found out from my girl, Emma, that they had it at TJ Maxx. Now, I, <laughs> I've never seen it there, unfortunately. But oftentimes New York has such bomb products compared to other areas I've seen. So I'm happy to have that one, but then they had four other, four or five other Marc Jacobs palettes you could pick from. And I picked one that was like purple, it had like a purple shadow. And I think it was like kind of like mauve cool tone. It looked so pretty, I'm so excited for that. Next, I'm gonna grab this little packing brush and I want to dip into this shade here. This kind of coppery peachy tone. And I think I wanna kind of do sort of like a cat eye. So I'm gonna start this here in the front. Wow, 
that shimmer just goes on like butter. Super excited about that. I have a video I have to edit for you guys coming up soon where I was struggling, girl. I was struggling with the shimmers in one of my palettes and this is no struggle. I've never tried Ciate London's eyeshadow formula. Have any of y'all ever tried their formula? What do y'all think? I really like this. Okay, then I'm gonna dip into this kind of like darker ruby shade. Looks really pretty. And I'm so sorry if I'm talking super fast, y'all. I did not sleep very well last night. I was up really late. And then, um, cause I was uploading my video and it was just processing until the cows came home. I was like, y'all, I got work in the morning. Could you hurry up and process, please? And so then my cell phone like went off in the middle of the night at like 4.30 and woke me up. I was like, what is happening? So. It was a rough night and I had so much coffee today. I feel like I'm bouncing off the wall. So <laughs> my apologies, but this is really pretty. Plus I'm super excited about these boxes. So that's probably not helping my energy level here. I'm just like bouncing off the roof. Now I do have a little bit of fallout from that shimmer, which is totally fine. It's really creamy. And that's why I like doing eyeshadow first is you can clean up fallout like that. So I'm gonna do the other eye and be right back. All right, Joe, so now that we have the other eye caught up, I'm gonna go with my little fluffy brush and I'm gonna reach into this top shade. It's a kind of like a light tan and I'm just gonna go ahead and soften this harsh, harsh line. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed with these shadows. I knew I love the color story, but I've never used Ciate London's eyeshadows. So I really had no idea what to expect. And while their packaging might be a little reminiscent, of Makeup Revolution to me, their formula certainly is not. It is gorgeous. It's giving me like Natasha Denona vibes a little bit, to be honest with you. I'm not saying it's Natasha Denona, but I'm saying it's kind of close-ish. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna clean up this fallout, we'll move on to face, and then we'll finish up with the lower lash line. All right, y'all, so I just popped on the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. I just had this sitting in my drawer. I think I've only used it once, and I literally had no idea what I thought about it. So I was like, ah, grab this one out today. So now I've pulled out the new shade of concealer from Too Faced. This is the shade Pearl, and it's definitely a little yellowy. So we might try mixing this and the other one together and see what happens. So I feel like the other one's really light. And this one's really yellow. All right, we have our other shade, Swan. And I'm gonna go dot, dot, dot. So you can see like the difference in tone. So we'll see if maybe these can be great little mixers. And I'm gonna grab my little Morphe M536. I mentioned this in my Tri Beauty box. This is a little cream bullet from Morphe that I absolutely love. So we're gonna just blend out the concealer. And I put quite a bit on because I was trying to mix them. So if it looks too thick, that's obviously a user error on my part. This is looking pretty good. I think they blend together nicely. What do y'all think? Looks pretty good, I think. Not too shabby. All right, let's move on to setting powder. All right, y'all, so for setting powder, we are gonna pop into the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Fancy, Ethereal Setting Powder Translucent. It comes with this little flippy top lid. I may be like a quarter of my way into this product. So I'm gonna just tap some in the lid. And I have my Luxie brush from our Tribe Beauty Box unboxing. I've really been enjoying this brush. It applies powder in like such a fine light layer. Nothing's too dusty under there, which helps with my dry skin. And now before I start creasing out of control, let's go ahead and set under the eyes. Okay, so for the lower lash line, there are so many things I wanna play with. Like this shade right here looks super interesting. I'm very curious about that one. And then this little tealy shade looks really pretty too. 
And I think it's that more like satin formula where we use kind of more like the glitterish formula. But then this looks like it has like duochrome potential possibly. It looks like it's like a gray purpley blue. I'm going with that one. I'm just curious. So I'm going to tap into this guy right here and we'll see what this looks like under the lower lash line. So I'm just starting at the outer edge here. Oh, there she goes. It's really unique. It's got like little cool iridescent like flex in it. It's so pretty. I totally have to sneeze. Don't you hate that when like a sneeze gets stuck in your nose? I'm like, oh. All right, I think that's really pretty. For an inner corner, dare I. Dare I do what I think I'm about to do? I think I do. So this little green shade at the bottom, I'm sure y'all are not surprised. I freaking love greens and purples like so much. I think I wanna try that green <laughs> in the inner corner. It might look crazy, but I don't really care. I have to see it. I think that's really pretty. I'm just gonna meet it up with that blue under the lower lash line. I feel like that's a vibe. I like it. I think that's fun. What do y'all think? I'm gonna throw on mascara and then my bronzer, blush, and highlighter and we'll be, oh wait, no, we will not. No, we will not because I wanna try this in the water line, the milk gel liner so let's see what this looks like i think that's really beautiful oh i'm like poking my own eyeball out here i think that's really pretty i really like browns in the waterline especially like with my eye color i don't know i just think it kind of brings it out and this is like a really pretty like coppery brown okay now I'm gonna do the rest of my face, do my mascara, bronzer, blush, highlight, we'll be back for lips. Sorry y'all, I'm back, I did my mascara. I completely forgot about our little Fenty brush and I specifically grabbed out this Smashbox Cali Contour Palette just for us to be able to test this out. So I'm going to unfurl it and I'm going to dip into my little contour shade and then we will kind of focus this. Oh girl, <laughs> I'm scared. All right, so I'd say it's very stiff. Like, can you? I really don't want to take off my foundation with this brush. Try stippling. Okay, so I might try stippling because if you try blending with this, I feel like it takes your foundation right off your face. I'm just like kind of stamping this into my skin. I don't know if contour is the best use for this brush. Maybe she means for you to use it with your cream contour. I'm thinking that might be a better option. I mean, it's good for placement, but it's really hard to blend with this. All right. I'm gonna go blend out this catastrophe add my other products and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I finished the rest of my face. I figured in the spirit of some of the products that we had in the box this month, I would go ahead and try the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. It is a little bit more yellowy than I remember it being. It's interesting, but it's nice for summer. And also since we went with the Ciate Piel... Piel it? Also, since we went with the Ciate palette today, I pulled out my little Ciate blush. This is in the shade Halo. And y'all, doesn't this give you hourglass vibes? I'm like, I'm here using the eyeshadow, feeling like I'm using Natasha Denona. I'm here using the blush, feeling like I'm using hourglass. I'm like, Ciate, are we all sleeping on you? Because we need not be. And then the highlighter is gorgeous. Giving me total like Rodeo Drive vibes from Ofra. Really beautiful. I had used this before, but I've gotten a little bit better with my highlighter application. Priscilla was trying to tell me, she was like, girl, that highlighter is bomb. It is slamming. I really love this. She was absolutely right. I am feeling this highlight. I think it's really cute. Now let's pop on our MAC lipstick. And again, this is in the shade Mocha. Cute. 
I like it. Except for I messed up. <laughs> Y'all, can we please all go glamping? Just get like a big, huge tent, get some marshmallows <laughs> and some cute little fire pit action. And I would love that. Get me out of this house. Anyway, what do you guys think of the final look? So I actually am really happy with the products I received this month. I was so excited. There were some new ones that I'd never heard of that I'm very happy with. I think this eyeshadow primer is bomb.com. I'm so glad it got me to pull out my Ciate products that I hadn't really touched since I unboxed them and tried them on with y'all. And now I wanna reach for them more because they're cute. I love the eyeshadow palettes. I'm so excited to get the primer. I do think this foundation is kind of trifling, this <laughs> Maybelline, but that did not come in boxy. I don't know. I wanna continue to play with this. We'll see. Sometimes the foundation looks better after it's like warmed up on my skin. So jury's out on my little foundation. I'm kind of testing, but everything else I'm really happy with. I hope you all had fun with me unboxing Boxy Base and Premium this month. I would love to hear what you got. I'd love to hear what your favorite product was from your box this month or which product you were most excited about from my box. I love you all so much and thank you so much for being here with me today. Until the next video, bye.